guys, welcome back to Golf With Your Friends. I still have no friends, so I'm playing alone with some good old Natty Lights. It was Golf With Drunks. So we're playing Candyland on Custom. And so, it's just a simple game. We're going to be random shapes, which bouncy. So let's see how mad we get after this. we've been doing a couple of beers. Alright. So, fun fact, I've never actually played the Candyland map at all, so with random shapes, this is going to be fun. Ah, oh, I'm a cylinder. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Love me. Come on. No! I did not mean to jump. Dang it. Come on. Come on. But come on, get in the hole. Love me, Daddy. I'm an egg. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, yes, 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 yes. Ah, yes, did it. Come on, come on. Love me, love me, love me. Double bogey, I'll take that. Oh gosh. Can I even fit through this hole? Bow. Also set random sips. Alright, so I want to hear how you guys are doing. How are you guys doing today? Because I know I'm doing pretty alright. Come on, come on, baby, bounce for me. Oh, yeah, right in the hole. Ooh, I'm a puck. Quit pucking around. Can I do it? Can I do it? Nope. No! I did not mean to click! Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, almost had it. Come on. Ah. Uh. You know, it's really sad not to have friends to play this game with. But I'm glad I have you guys. Alright, so. Story time, story time. What story can I tell you? Alright, so I think I kind of want to go back to my past some more. So for me, one thing I do every summer for the past seven years is work at a local Boy Scout camp. And local Boy Scout camp I chose was Camp Daniel Boone in good old Canton, North Carolina. Now Canton, now Camp Daniel Boone is a member, uh, is a Boy Scouts of America camp do, helping out with the Scouts BSA program. And so, I've been working there for seven years. And I met so many interesting friends from there. I kind of want to tell this story, hoping that it'll force him to actually watch one of these episodes. Oh, excuse me. So, the man I want to talk about today is a man called Brett Speaks. Or as we like to call him, good old Burt Talks. And yeah, his initials do spell BS, but honestly that's kind of accurate, not going to lie. Am I gonna have to jump? I'm already at eight strokes. Ooh, okay. It loved me. But so at this scout camp, we offer different merit badges. And one of the merit badges we offer is the Wilderness Survival Merit Badge, which teaches young kids how to go and survive in the woods in emergency situations. And so, ooh, I'm a regular ball. And so, to complete the merit badge, the scouts have to go and spend a night in the woods in a wilderness survival scenario. Why am I bouncing that way? That makes zero sense. Anyway, so, while he's there, while, while we're there, one of the kids gets sick, which happens. And so we send him down the mountain with 
Brett and another one of our staff members because to make sure that everything's safe to deep leadership and whatnot. And so Brett is on his way back up. Now Brett stopped and picked up some supplies. What am I? Am I a yarn ball? What even is that? That makes zero sense. But so Brett goes down the mountain, comes back up, and you picked up some supplies. One of some of which were three sleeping bags to make sure that everything was going right, no problems. But while he's carrying three sleeping bags, we hear a call over the radio from him. And he says, guys, there is a large dog in the middle of the trail. Now, to give you a little bit of insight, there are several dogs in the area because it's in the middle of the woods in rural North Carolina. Please tell me this is not a shootable shot. Please let me respond. I'm an acorn? Devs, your game's broken. Alright, so, looks like I can't move here. But anyway, back to the story. So, Brett is on his way back with sleep, three sleeping bags, and we hear him say over the radio, Guys, there's a large dog. Now, my first thought is that maybe it's the rangers. The ranger at the time, uh, Jay Medill, had a dog called Mingo. And so, Mingo... Okay, let me go ahead and resize this for you so that way you can get a better view of my face while I wait for that time to turn down. So Mingo was the ranger's dog. And I, my first instinct was that it was her. Maybe it was the golden retriever that lives just on the other side of the mountain. All these different options. And so I asked him to describe the dog. And he says the dog is large, gray, it's got a fluffy tail. And it smells kind of bad. And for me, I grew up in the mountains of North Carolina. Brett Speaks did not. Brett Speaks grew up in Florida and then moved to Georgia and has lived in Georgia ever since. And he's what he doesn't realize is that he just described the classic parts of a coyote. He straight up described a coyote. There. Coyote over there. And I told him, Brett, that's not a dog. That's a coyote. And he's like, nah, 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 nah. It's a dog. And he's adamant that's a dog. And then he's like, guys, I am currently petting the dog. And I'm like, then stop petting the dog. Because he's still petting a coyote. I'm an isosphere. Gosh dang it. But I tell him to stop petting the dog. And then he says, every time I stop paying the dog, it growls at me. And then the group stops and thinks and gives him the advice, well, if it's growling at him, if he stops petting it, then he might as well keep petting it. And we wait. And about 30 seconds later, he says, guys, every time I go to pet the dog now, it growls at me. And we're like, well, then back away slowly. And we hear over the radio, guys, I'm backing away from the dog. And, of course, to sum it all up, we hear, guys, the dog is following me. So, fortunately, the coyote dog gets bored and wanders off. And Brett gets up there. And the entire night, he is adamant that it was not a coyote. And so, for weeks, he's adamant. He even denies it, and we keep trying to show him pictures of it, because he thinks we're trying to freak him out. But eventually, we propose a trick. We ask him to look over some paperwork for us to make sure it's right. And so we say it's on the computer, and when he pulls it up and looks at it, it's a picture of a coyote. And so that's how we tricked him into like seeing what it is. And then the minute that he actually looks at it, you just see all the color just drain in his face. Birdie! We just see all the color just drain in his face. 
as he realizes that he did, in fact, pet a coyote. Gosh dang it, I'm a freaking star. But, so that's my story for today. Uh, I'm actually fixing to go down and visit him tomorrow. Well, so as of today, it is October the 13th. So I don't know when this video is going to get posted up. Because I'm trying to get enough episodes for all week long. Dang, I'm really sucking at this level. But so, in case there's a delay in postings, which honestly isn't saying much. Because uh, I suck at posting, having time to post right now. Ooh, that was, a good, that was a lucky shot. Uh, where was I? Oh, so I am going to be out of town. I am hopefully going to be working on creating a bunch of content. Not quite sure how I'm going to quickly I'm going to be able to get it posted, but definitely look forward to a bunch of material coming up soon. Um, because I do want to become more reliable on posting content. Uh, I want, I'm really hoping that I can get to the point in which I'm posting five days a week. I would love that. I'm not going to make a promise of it because with school, work, Boy Scouts, Epsilon Tau Pi, the History Club, and all the other things I help out with, I don't think I'm going to have as much time as I hope I do. Aha. I'm a cone. No, no, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Love me, love me, love me, love me. Ah, <laughs> that's cute. Little cone with a cupcake. Um, but where was I? Oh, yeah, so content. So, I'm hoping to be able to create more content here soon. Uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, that the whole Goth with Friends series is more of a way for me to communicate because without any friends. This is a uh, kind of a not fun game. Let's see. Let's go ahead and come up here. Nope. That's a bad idea. Come on. Let's go ahead and shoot this way then. Bam. Ooh, baby, love me. Double bogey, I'll take that. So let's go ahead and finish up this last round, this last hole, and then we'll go ahead and cut it off right there for today. So I'm kind of hoping that over while I'm gone, I'll be able to give in some of my friends to record with me, so that way I'll be able to actually play golf with friends, with actual friends. But... I really honestly want your guys' opinion. Like, I know that's so cliche. Like, like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. But for me, I do want to know what you guys like to see. What particular videos of mine you enjoy. If you have any games that you want me to look into, I want to look into those. Because right now, I'm kind of just... I'm kind of just playing what I find interesting. And I don't know if there's something particular that you guys do. But we're going to go ahead and cut that episode off there. I love you guys. You guys are supporting me. And if you liked what we saw, drop a like in the below. I'll see all you dudes in the next video.